Well, we'll take a look at this knife. A 10 year old girl was caught with it at DeBerry Elementary School today. Fox 35's Patrick Perez is live at that school tonight. And Patrick, this is just the latest incident that has many parents concerned in Volusia County. And just last week, the sheriff was asking parents to please go through their children's belongings, their bags, their rooms, their cars. He does not want to see another weapon on campus. But then it happened again today, and that's not all. Step up to the damn plate before something happens. Sheriff Mike Chitwood is not holding back after yet another student in Volusia County is caught with a weapon on campus. This time, a 10 year old girl accused of bringing this knife to DeBerry Elementary. It only has two functions in life it's to cause serious bodily injury or kill somebody. According to an arrest report, a classmate reported the girl to their fifth grade teacher after seeing her show the knife off to other students. The girl's grandfather told deputies he had no idea she had the knife with her. Deputies arrested and charged her with a felony. Going to elementary school, that's something you just don't think that would happen, you know, and as a parent, it really concerns me, especially because I'm hearing about it for the first time from you. In the past 30 days. Thanks, Marlisa. Now to a Fox 35 News exclusive. A mom says that her son's school lost him during pickup time. Fox 35's Caroline Coles is joining us live in Osceola County this afternoon. So Caroline, this mom says her son has disabilities and should not be by himself. That's right. Good evening to you both. This is the school where mom says her son uh, left and he was found a block away by a good Samaritan. Oh, baby. It's okay. Getting dressed and ready for school, it was just like any other school day for the Rhodes family until school let out. That's when mom Vanessa Rhodes says her eight year old Dominic walked away unnoticed from Ventura Elementary School. As a parent, when you know something's wrong, you get that gut feeling. And I had that instant gut feeling that he wasn't in the school. Instead, he was here about a block away from school. And Vanessa says that is unacceptable. Vanessa says Dominic, who has disabilities, is supposed to have one on one supervision from a staff member to make sure he gets to the car safely. He's supposed to have a one on one and he didn't. Um, and they just put a special education child there and left him. Vanessa says she was frantic looking around the school to see where her son was. She says she was not happy with how the school handled the search. She believes the school should have called the police. When a child goes missing, everybody knows this. Every second, every minute, every hour counts in finding that child. And I feel like my child was dismissed. Our child was dismissed. Dominic was spotted about a block away from the school by this good Samaritan, something the road says they will forever be grateful for. We have our son because of him. Dominic could have been picked up by a kidnapper. Um, he could still be gone. We could still be looking for him. You know, so much can happen nowadays. And I truly thank him. You know, we have Dominic because of him. We reached out to the school district about the incident. They tell us that on the second day of school, a Ventura Elementary School child did not go home the correct way. Procedures were immediately put into place so that it would not happen again. While the Rhodes family is beyond grateful Dominic is safe and sound, they say they are not stopping here. We're not backing off and let it, letting it go because they should have dealt with it the right way. As you can probably hear in that mom's voice, she's very passionate about this. She's upset with the school district, and she now tells me that they've hired an advocate, and they're now working hand-in-hand -hand with that advocate to make sure Dominic is treated properly moving forward. Reporting live here in Osceola County, I'm Caroline Coles, Fox 35 News. Caroline, thank you. And we learned about this story because that family reached out to us. If you have a story, just send us an email at fox35news at fox.com, and make sure you include your name and phone number. Busted for picking berries. The Indian River County Sheriff's Office is leading the charge to stop the illegal harvesting of palmetto berries. Deputies have made 15 arrests so far and recovered hundreds of pounds of berries since the start of the season last month. You see, a permit is required to harvest those berries. The reason is it provides food for wildlife like black bears and also deer.
I'm not going to do nothing. I promise you. I promise you. I'm not going to be. I promise you. I'm not going to do nothing. Alright, so let's roll. Okay. Hold your knees up. Hold your knees up. Alright, one up. Come on. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, alright. Alright, alright. Alright, alright. Alright, alright. Alright, alright. Getting dead up out of we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out later. You don't want the beer. That way you can just throw it away in the trash. Or whatever. Okay. Anybody have kids, man? Shoot me in, brother. Hold it. Alright. Y'all want my own passport? Okay. Alright. Okay. We'll search you here in a sec. Do you have any narcotics on you? No, sir. Okay. Any weapons? No, sir. No, no, no. No knives, no guns, no guns, no, guns, nothing. no nothing, no nothing. I'm sorry, I went like this. What's that? So I'm sorry, I had to go down like this. It's a bag of something or whatever. It is. It's, it's what? Yeah, that's all it is. That's the picture we just got. I don't have nothing on it. Yeah, well, we're still going to check know, there, Bill. I know, I know. My bag pocket. Mm -hmm. you know, this is all fast Shan? All right, don't be rolling stop signs like that again. I don't want to see you again, dude. Another one, dude. Like, dude, reckless drive is, dude, like, hey. stop! Hey! Stop! Uh, go get him. Forty-six Central, clear me from this call. And I'm following a, a hatchback on a new mark. He almost just took me in forty-one out. He's 12F for me right now. He has a navy plate. I can't see him any further. He's going eastbound. New marker where? Kelvin. Still had an eastbound. New dispatch Copy. That's all you need. Traffic 1 Delta 46. Plane driving. Civic tube, head out, windshield and everything. Yeah, the tag had uh, a Navy emblem on it as well. Yeah, I know the first uh, number was Bravo. Forty six, I'm coming up or forty one, I just came up to Montecito. There's a it looks like a flatbed in front of me, so unless he went around them, he dipped off into one of those side streets. Forty one, as you said. 
stop. Yeah, I'm doing a felony stop of one and two. Hey, I'm coming up to you. Just watch your crossfire. Just hold those two guys there. You can get some more people in place. Hey, Freeboro, you hear me? Hey, you got him there? You want me to move in? Huh? Dang, what's he saying? Good. To move in? Hey, yeah, I'm moving in. Hold him, dang. Do not fucking move. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. I'm a cop for Altamont. I know. I know. You're a cop in Altamont? Yes, sir. He's a cop? I know. I know. Yeah. I know. Did you say what I think you said? Yeah. Yes. That is number 675. Come this way. Walk back to me. Let's go. There's no one in the car. Walk back to me. Your wallet's in your left pocket. Yep. Hang up against this car for now. This one to your left. Yeah, to your left. Do you have anything on your persons? Oh, nope. Just your wallet. Yep. Badge is in my left pocket. You didn't see my. Uh, just the key fob, okay? Yeah. All right. Oh. All right. Take a take a seat in here for now. Yep. I got him. Is that good? Search me good? Yeah. You got my wallet? I got it. Yeah. You called him secure? Dude, you almost, you almost took him out, dude. Both of us. You gotta do what you gotta do. It's your guys' call.